The tooth. God damn, that was stupid. <laughs> I fucking panicked. I panicked. Something happens when I, if I call somebody and uh, they don't pick up and I get the answer machine, I just fucking panic. And uh, <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, Crumbum Comedy Presents The Tooth. Tis I, Edson King Crumbum. Uh, as you know, we have our regular OG podcast, with, which is uh, me, Josh, uh, Doc Brown, and Frankie Friday. And uh, we just shoot the shit at a bar, Polly's Pizza, in Upland, California. We literally have no structure in that show. We just, <laughs> we're going to talk some shit. Let's talk some shit. All right, let's go. All right. But this one, we talk movies and entertainment. Uh, first episode, I had a guest, uh, which was Drew. And um, my homie Drew from high school. And uh, we talked WWE. This episode, it's going to be a short one. It's just going to be solo. I just wanted to do like a little expose on one of my favorite things that's happening to me right now in my life. In my life. And cinema, in my cinema life. I don't like to call myself a movie buff because uh, anytime you call yourself that, people start trying to quiz you, and it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have a little uh, some facts here and there about behind the scenes stuff or stuff like that. Maybe I have, may I have my pulse. I have my finger on the pulse of of uh, movies, but if if you're too invested into knowing the most. Of things, I think you're kind of just like forgetting what the fuck you're doing and why watching a movie, you know? I It takes me like two or three times to watch a movie. Because I'll watch it first and I'll, be, I'll get lost in the CGI or like... Because I love it. I like CGI shit. Uh, I like all kinds of stuff. We'll get to that right now. And then... um, And then the second time, it's like, oh shit, look at the costumes or listen to the sound or all that stuff. And then by the third time, it's when I actually watch the movie in its entirety without... Without busting a busting a, a, a cinematic nut, and uh, I'm a fan of uh, a new fan of A24 movies. It's a distribute uh, they distribute fucking the craziest movies you've ever seen in your life, which I'm gonna talk about right now. But uh, they had like a little thing that came out. It's like oh, Obama's favorite movies of 2018. And uh, one of the movies was an A24 movie and someone said, who knew Obama was a cinephile? And I was like, I didn't know Obama was a cinephile. I'm going to look it up. I had to Google to see what that meant. And I figured it out. And I was like, okay, cool. That's one of the things I'm not going to call myself as well. I don't want to be in jail. And someone was like, hey, what are your hobbies? I'm like, oh, you know, I just fucking play bass. And I, I'm a cinephile. And then I'm going to end up getting cinerate, which isn't that joke. wasn't that good. I wrote it down. It looked good on paper, like most rapes. And, um, ugh, yeah, we go there. Here, this is crumb bum shit, guys. This isn't for kids. Oh, crap, what the hell happened? Is that the Hulk? The Hulk is hulking out right now. Ugh, hopefully I can edit that out. You know what? I'm not going to edit that shit out. I'm going to leave it in there. Whatever. This is some raw shit. So they called Obama cinephile, and, <laughs> and it threw me off. It threw me the fuck off. I don't want to call myself that neither. But in one of those movies, there was a A24 movie, and um, these cats said, I suck the A24 dick hard. I'm into it. I love that shit. I also love other movies, too. But if you come across someone that's strictly A24, they, they, they're they like vegans. They purposely will go out of their way not to watch any Hollywood budget blockbuster and I, I you know what sometimes it's i get it I, I i fall for it you know but that's because i i enjoy it i like i like shit i like eye candy i like crappy movies but a24 they did something to me I, they're, they're like if if radiohead put out fucking movies you know <laughs> it's like it, it's weird <clears throat> it started with this charlie sheen movie that uh, back in 2013 i forgot what it was called and um, look it up. I want you to do most of the looking. Because if I tell you. I, I can only show you the hole. <laughs> it's up to you. The rabbit. To follow down it. And maybe if you want to be Alice. Or the rabbit. Whichever one you want to be. There's a hole. You look for it. 
And uh, I fell in love with Ex Machina. It's one of the one of the ones that I tell people before you, uh, if you're gonna get start watching a twenty four movies, my top three choices would be Ex Machina, The Lobster, Tusk. You know what? I'll throw a fourth one there, Locky. I'll explain those ones real quick. Spoiler alert as fuck. Okay. Um, how do I how do I say that? I, there's no way to explain one of their movies or any of their movies because it's it's hard to explain them without spoiling them not the ending of them just spoiling the the movie itself if that makes sense and the uh, ex machina was the first one i saw and that one was just uh two smart guys and the uh, ai and uh, a, a test the test backfires and fucking trouble ensued and uh all, all one of my favorite things about a24 movies is that they all end they end hard None of these movies have a, uh, are capable to be like, all right, let's have a part two, which is something big, big Hollywood does. And they they see a movie, they saw that it fucking killed in the uh, in the box office. They're like, well, oh, bank it, bank it, do another one, make another one, make another one. Other companies, hey, we'll make something similar like that. Do it, do it, do it. Not a twenty four movies. You catch a movie, uh, and you, it ends, and then and if it ends, it wants you to finish the 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 movie in your head. And it's not one of those cliffhangers. Like, oh, I wonder what I... Well, yeah, actually, it kind of is. But you get sucked in to the craziness fever dream that is one of their movies, and you are in that world, which is what movies are meant for. Movies are meant to, like, take you out of this world and put you in another world where you can, where, where, where you can fly, where you can do whatever the fuck you want, you know? That's what A24 does. You get locked in, and then you get sucked in, and then that's it. There's a movie called The Lobster, which is uh, like a place where uh, you pick an animal before you go in, and then you have to find love in a X amount of time where you get turned into said animal, and uh, shit fucking goes down. And you get sucked into it to the point where you're just like, oh, that's it. I'm in, I'm in it. I'm in that world. I get it. Okay. there is There is such a thing as that. I'm in it. I feel for him. I get down. And there's other movies like Locky. I think it's called Locky. Has a um, Tom Harding, and it's just him in a car arguing with his wife, his baby mama that he cheated on with, and a construction company. And the whole movie is just that. That's it. It's them arguing with each other in a car, nonstop. And it's and it ends. You you don't you don't know what happened. You you don't know. And it's, it's, all those movies are like that. I spent hours um, watching them back to back and I started kind of laughing because they have a, something for every genre, uh, so, something for everything. Like they have horror, they, they have horror movies, they have sci-fi movies, they have love stories, they have love story horror movies, they have westerns, they have western love stories. They, they, they really hit the spectrum of what people want or what they, well... The, the common thing that A24 fans say, or anybody that sucks that dick, is uh, everyone wants an original movie, but once it's presented to you, uh, you're like, what the fuck is this? I want to see this shit. You know? You won't get it. Or you would. Some people would get it and just go, eh, which is okay. If you don't get it, you don't get it. And if you get it, and it's like, ah, whatever the fuck, then fuck it. You know, I'm, not, I'm not here to tell you what to watch. I'm, I'm here to, um, I just want to highlight it. And then just if just for you to go out there and you know, if you want something original, if you want some something kooky, something something, I can't explain it. It's 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 hard to explain. I can explain any other movie like a motherfucker, but I can't explain these. These movies are weird. And my favorite thing about these uh, company is that uh, they have uh, <laughs> they have if you go to their shop, they have these candles. That you buy, right? They're scented candles. They're scented um, genre uh, candles. All right? Uh, <laughs> okay, so like every candle is specific to a genre of movie. And uh, in, my, in my head, all I... Because an A24 any movie, if you watch it with your girl or a girl or a guy... Uh, <laughs> In the, you, it's not like Netflix and chill where you start watching and you're like, ah, fuck it, and then just start fucking each other. You won't be able to get your eyes off the movie 
and also you won't be able to finish um finish uh the movie without wanting to have a conversation about what the fuck just happened can't you won't there's no way to figure out what happened like right now you don't know what happened you don't know that i had to pause this to go pee and grab myself a beer <laughs> but it is one of those uh movies that you you, you can't pause you never want to stop the the flow of the movie it'll throw you the fuck off and uh they all have funny ways they've become uh Jonah Hill what is it? the mid 90s the new one that came out it's his fucking love poem to hip hop and it's about our age it's a, it's like the movie kids it's almost like the movie kids those kind of movies you can't make nowadays well, you couldn't make him any kind of days. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you can't fucking make a movie that off the cuff and then expect income out of it. Because that's what that's what big Hollywood does. They they put out these movies and they they want the most money they can. But um, a twenty four, they don't follow those rules. They don't follow any of those rules. They 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 want original ideas from people, and all of these have bangers. Like all these have like big time stars or or nobodies. With big time stars, and it's just it's just weird. So, but like I was getting to, this is my favorite thing about the, uh, the company. Um, they have these candles, the genre candles, yes. And uh, what I want to do is a uh, light one, get your honey, and uh, what depending what. Okay, <laughs> I'm reading these things. Okay, look at. One of the ones is, is uh, one of the candles is a horror candle. It's a horror scented candle. All right. Here are the notes that it has in it. Um, uh, Mandarin. Uh, not the language. Uh, clove leaf, cypress, suede, cinnamon bark. And its imp- inspirations are fangs and growling eyes, remote lakeside cabins, fucking shadows and shit, bloody knives. And then the Western one, all right, it has a fear needle, fear needle, F-I-R needle, needle, I don't know what the fuck that is, eucalyptus, saddle leather, firewood, bourbon, vanilla, sweet, balsam, what the fuck, and its inspirations are boot spurs, campfires, wanted posters, saloons, the thriller one, this is funny too, the thriller one is a blood orange and tobacco, uh, Russian leather, and Russian leather, Russia, Russia leather and metal. For the thriller one, New York, it's wild honey, lemon, amber, jasmine. What the fuck? The adventure one is uh, rosemary, Spanish sage. Uh, the musical one is a uh, fig leaf, uh, <laughs> uh, musk melon, pink pepper. Rainwater, magnolias. So all of these are genre ones. So like I'm thinking, you get I don't know, you get the horror one, and then you get like a movie like The Witch, or the Hedridge. Uh, not Hedred. I can't pronounce that shit. I'm Hispanic, <laughs> and I learned nothing from school. Heritage, and uh, you turn on that candle, and you just you just get. <laughs> You just get taken into the world. The only problem is these motherfuckers, they're fucking raping you. They're $48. All right? For like seven ounces. The burn time is uh, 60 to 50 hours. Approximately 33 movies. That's what they last. <clears throat> I think they have 33 movies. They have so much movies they have. But uh, yeah, I, hi- I highly, highly recommend you go watch and a24 movie and then um you know go to my comments uh let's talk about it i like i like when i when i hear someone talk about a movie i like that i i want to sit down and have a conversation with them see where it takes you see where the ending takes you but don't be don't be don't be a douchebag don't start thinking you're better than anybody else because you watch these movies i don't think that i do think i have an acquired taste and uh, some of these movies people are gonna be like ah oh, that's stupid i don't know what the fuck like, yeah, that's 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 what you want, no? Don't you want originality? You're tired of reboots and remakes. 
You're tired of Michael Bay trying to fuck your brain out? Here's an original movie. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. Is, is she an alien or? What, where's, 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 where's an explosion? There is no explosion. It's the mind, man. It's movies of the mind. But it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you for listening. This is a little short, a little banger. I'm gonna try to get some more guests soon, and um, you know, go to the go to the notifications, ring that bell, because I'm gonna be doing these randomly. So uh, hit me up on Facebook as well. That's in King Crumba Maragon. I think I'm on Twitter as well. I'm on Instagram. That's in King Crumba again. Go to YouTube. Or you're listening to this too. <laughs> I think there's going to be some links around here. You can click to see more shit or hear more shit. This has been The Tooth. Uh, thanks for listening. Go to the comments. Talk to me. Tell me some shit. Let's talk movies, guys. Let's talk movies. The Tooth.